Right now, I'm trying to find the balance between two worlds that I feel like are pulling me in two different directions. One, I have my game, Prepare the Past. It's almost done. Next week, it'll probably be finished and I'll start play testing and marketing. And that's over there. And then I have YouTube, which talks about my game. And YouTube sort of represents my studio and all that stuff, the business end of it all. Both are incredibly important. And I'm still learning how to balance the two because like I said, I'm very, passionate about both of them but i'm still trying to figure it out and that's what i want to reflect on today but before we get into it guys i wanted to talk about the journey i'm on i'm on an active journey at trying to make this studio profitable twice a week here i release two videos about what i'm doing and why i'm doing so that i can just share the process of what to do or what not to do so if you're curious about the journey make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and join the discord for active updates about the journey also if you want to promote your game in the b-roll of these videos join the discord and leave gameplay of your game in the submissions tab i'd love to promote your game just as a little way to give back to the community okay let's get back into it so i used to think that balance meant perfect scheduling you know equal hours equal output no waste of time all that jazz but i realized balance isn't really about math it's about rhythm the the world is not perfect things are going to come and disrupt rhythms and routines and you need to figure out how to balance that how to roll with the punches some days development takes over and you need to finish something and youtube or whatever it is needs to take the back seat and that's okay other days i gotta go in full creator mode and and i i love both of them but they're different and instead of fighting the urge to force me to work on one thing i'm learning to listen to it and to move where the energy is strongest that day or move where the greatest needs are for example i'm working on a save system in my game and it's it's just so much bigger of a beast or complicated beast than I than I anticipated. And so that is taking much more of my time right now. And I'm just taking a few minutes here to record this video and get it out. And then I'm gonna go back to it instead of maybe doing more, you know? And I'm putting the energy, my energy, towards the thing that needs the attention the most. It's less about control I've found and more about letting the energy flow out of me where it needs to go again i can't always trust myself there's there's gonna be times where i want to do something more than another thing especially when there's bugs in your game and you don't feel like working on them it's much easier to just go into the community and say hey you know i need to be cognizant of what needs to be done and i try not to treat them separately anymore every video i make should help the game in some way. That's really what I've been working towards these past few months. Everything needs to work together. Everything needs to push everything up. And that's why most of my videos, I mention my game. Everything I build in the game should give me something to talk about on YouTube, whether it's the save system I just mentioned or the level building I mentioned in my previous videos. Everything is working together. And the more I blend them, the more everything starts to make sense. And the more I'm able to kind of move between between different things in a very fluid motion. The game gives me purpose and the channel gives that purpose a voice. This made so much sense to me when I read it. Let me say it again. The game gives me a purpose and the channel gives that purpose a voice. And they feed off of each other now because of that thought. And like, I think I finally got the words to express that thought, but I think that thought has been driving me ever since I made the change to go all in a few months ago. And now they feed off of each other instead of, you know, fighting for my time and I'm not being yanked in two different directions. And it, it feels very natural now where it used to not feel natural at all. It felt like a chore. It was not fun. And, and I've, I've even thought of, you know, videos differently now. I've started asking myself one question when I sit down to work in my studio. Does this move the story forward? Does this move the studio forward? Does this actively push things along? Because a lot of times it wasn't like that before. It was much more focused on, can I get the views? Can I get interaction? And again, those things are important, but that's not connected to the rest of the thing. That is not connected. But if it helps me tell a better story in code or art or video or words, it's absolutely worth the time. And if not, 
I'll save it for later. That one filter though cuts out so much noise because again, like I mentioned, everything feels so natural. The blending, how I'm balancing game dev and YouTube is not that I have these two things on a scale that I'm trying to juggle, you know, to make sure they're equally balanced. No, no, no. The game dev pours into the YouTube and then the YouTube fills up and pours back into the game dev and it's just, everything is this blend of ideas and, and they're all mixing and it's, it's this really cool thing that's been happening since I've made this jump to go all in. And it's absolutely not always clean. It is not clean. And I think what really happens is my human nature comes out and I'm like, nah, I, I don't want to do this. I just want to, I just want to make a video or, or what will happen is I have a giant save system I need to fix. And I also need to you do a YouTube video. So I'll do the YouTube video now. No, no, no. I absolutely need to be very wary of that type of behavior. But I feel like, like I mentioned, everything is flowing together, so it only makes sense for me to make a video right now, you know? Like I said in a previous video, to keep that momentum up. And like I said, it's not always perfect. Some days I drop the ball on both. Some days I'm really lazy, you know, and I don't feel like doing either one of them, and it's just a bummer. And, and sometimes it's not even about me. Some, like the other week, I was sick and I didn't do either one and it was a bummer, but that's kind of the point. You know, if, if game dev and YouTube or game dev and the studio, if you wanna call it that, they all rely on me, you know, to, to pour them out or to express, which is a weird word, but they rely on me in that. And if I don't do anything, nothing gets done, Hello, Bean. Bean, what are you doing back there? What are you doing back there, Bean? She's being silly. Anyway, but I'm not chasing that balance anymore. I'm not chasing that balance. I'm much more relying on a natural fluidity to the balance. Instead of scales, it's a pouring uh, of fluid, you know? Um, and every week there is a small adjustment. I'm constantly making adjustments here and there because again, it is fluid. It, it can't be rigid like it used to be because that created a ton of stress and it can't be. So how do I balance the two? I let them pour into each other. And instead of rigidity, like I, I feel like rigidity can help in some ways, allowing these two things to be fluid and pour into each other is how I've been balancing them. So when I have a save system that I'm working on, I'm gonna talk about it in my video. And, and so, I mean, you're probably wondering if I'm talking about game dev in my video, how does game dev pour into YouTube. Well, it gives me something to talk about on YouTube, you know? So it's like game dev gives me the save system. YouTube allows me to talk about the save system. Game dev gives me level design. I get to talk about level design in my game dev or in my YouTube. So it's just this, this fluidity that has been really helping me balance it out. If, if there's some practical things to implement that I've implemented, again, I'm not a teacher, just a problem solver. It is really just let things pour out of you in a natural and authentic way. Again, that sounds really, that's so hard. That's so much easier to say than to do, but don't be fake or don't be, don't try so hard, which sounds weird, but I know I've been just letting things flow out of me a lot naturally lately and it feels so much better and it's a lot less stress and that feels really good and it feels very balanced and natural. Guys, if you like content like this, I'm almost done with my Game Prepare the Past and I can't wait to show it off more and I'm going to be showing it off more. But if you like content like this, if you wanna join me for the journey, hit that like and subscribe button, join the Discord. And if you want to show off your game in my videos, go on the submissions tab and throw in your gameplay and I'd love to show it off here. Again, thank you guys for being here and I'll see you next time.